Hello, welcome to Daily News from Ajayat TV. Daily scientific meetings of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qom, Iran. The residence of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hosseini Shirazi, a respected religious authority, hosted another enlightening scholarly session in the holy city of Qom, attended by numerous scholars, religious figures, and students of Islamic seminaries. This meeting delved into various topics pertaining to Islamic ethics, Islamic jurisprudence, Islamic history, etc. The esteemed viewers of Marjaya TV can watch these sessions live and directly on this TV network, a collection of other TV channels and also on the Al Shirazi app and TV boxes simultaneously with these sessions at 11.15 a.m. Qom local time. Report on the 8th day of Grand Ayatollah Shiraz's mission in Mecca during Hajj 1445. The mission of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sara Hosseini Shirazi continues its daily activities in Mecca during the Hajj season of 1445 AH. On the eighth day of their mission, Thursday, the 6th of Zilhajah 1445, the mission members welcome representatives of prominent religious authorities, religious and cultural figures, and the general pilgrims of the House of God. Additionally, the mission's activities included answering religious and doctrinal questions from pilgrims, holding ceremonies for supplication to the Ahlul Bayt, and leading congregational prayers. It is worth mentioning that on the eighth day of their activity during Hajj 1445, the mission continued to hold ceremonies for supplication to the Ahlul Bayt. The ceremony saw a large gathering of religious, cultural, and social figures, along with the general believers and pilgrims of the House of God, who engaged in supplication to the family of purity and infallibility. Special broadcast Baghr al Elm by Marjaya TV for the martyrdom of Imam Baghir, peace be upon him. On the occasion of the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Muhammad al Baghir, peace be upon him, the Marjayyad Media Network produced and aired a program titled Baghr al Elm. In this program, broadcast during the martyrdom days of this revered Imam, Sayyid Hussein al Ba'aj discussed the biography and scholarly activities of the fifth Shia Imam. Commemoration of the martyrdom of Imam Baghir, peace be upon him, at Grand Ayatollah Shiraz's PR office in Karbala. A morning ceremony for the martyrdom of Imam Muhammad Baghir, peace be upon him, was held at the Public Relations Center of the Religious Authorities Office in the Holy City of Karbala. Tens of followers of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, and a number of religious and scholarly figures attended this event, benefiting from the speeches of Sheikh Al-Lami, who spoke about the life of Imam Muhammad Baghir, peace be upon him. Commemoration of the martyrdom of Imam Baghir, peace be upon him, at Grand Ayatollah Shiraz's office in Basra, Iraq. The office of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hosseini Shirazi in Basra, Iraq, commemorated the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Muhammad al Baghir, peace be upon him, with a morning ceremony. This event, held on the 6th of Zilhajah of this year, saw the participation of dozens of religious and cultural figures and the general mourners, with the speaker discussing the fifth Shia Imam. Commemoration of Imam Baghir, peace be upon him, at the Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center in Baghdad. Morning ceremonies for the martyrdom days of Imam Muhammad al Baghir, peace be upon him, were held at the Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center, affiliated with the religious authority in Baghdad. These ceremonies were attended by Shia followers and devotees of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, including tens of young people from Baghdad. The attendees recited these sacred Ziyarat Ashura and Dua Nutba, engaging in morning rituals. Morning ceremony for the martyrdom of Imam Baghir, peace be upon him, at the Ahlul Bayt Center in Madagascar. The Ahlul Bayt Center, associated with the religious authority in the city of Mahajanga in Madagascar, held a commemorative ceremony on the occasion of the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Muhammad al Baghir, peace be upon him. This event, held on the evening of Thursday, the 6th of Dilhajah of this year, was attended by tens of Shia followers who spoke about the injustices faced by Imam Baghir, peace be upon him, and engaged in morning rituals. Distribution of drinking water to pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, by Ummah Biha Foundation in Karbala. On the occasion of the Arafah Day, the Ummah Biha Cultural and Charitable Foundation, associated with the religious authority in the holy city of Karbala, distributed drinking water among pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. The holy city of Karbala witnesses the arrival of millions of pilgrims during the Arafah Day, and various centers affiliated with the religious authority serve these pilgrims across different locations in this city. Commemoration of the martyrdom of Imam Muhammad al-Baghir and Muslim ibn Aqil, peace be upon them, at the Rasul Adam Foundation in Kazimain. 
The Rasul al-Azam Cultural and Charitable Foundation, associated with the religious authority in the holy city of Kazamain, commemorated the martyrdom anniversaries of Imam Muhammad al-Baghir, peace be upon him, and Muslim bin Aqil, peace be upon him, with a morning ceremony. This event, held on Friday, 7th of Dilhajah of this year, was attended by tens of Shia followers and devotees of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, who engaged in morning rituals. Distribution of relief packages to needy families by Barakah Association in Baghdad. The Al Khair Wal Barakah Cultural Association, affiliated with the religious authority in the Jakuk area of Baghdad province, distributed relief packages to orphaned and needy families in this region as part of its charitable activities. This initiative, undertaken in line with the religious authority's recommendations and on the occasion of the martyrdom of Imam Muhammad al Baghir, peace be upon him, saw tens of relief packages delivered to needy and orphaned families. Thank <laughs> you.